I hate peer editing. In the 24 years I've taught, I've hated peer editing every time. However, I went to a workshop in Texas called the Abydos Riding Workshop, and there's a method that works. And this method is called cropping. <music> how to do clocking. First you need to put the desks in a circle so that it looks like a round clock. Then you have the students sit down, get out the piece you're going to work on, whether it's an essay, paragraph, whatever you're doing. Then have them get a pen out and try to have each student have a pen of a different color. That's going to make it easier for the student to see which skill they need to work on and it's going to be easier for you to assess. Then on the front board, you need to make a list of the skills that you've been working on that you want the students to check. Maybe number one is subject verb. Maybe number two is um, diction. Maybe number three is passive voice. Whatever skill you're working on in your classroom. You can do three, you can do a hundred. It just depends on how fast your class moves and what you want to do. Then you have the children pass their paper one person clockwise. You have them turn the paper over, write number one, you're going to look for subject verb agreement, and sign their name. This is so you can do the assessment later. Have them turn the paper back over, tell them you're going to underline the verb twice, you're going to underline the subject once, just work on one paragraph if that's okay, or work on the whole paper depending on your group, then you tell them go. You can either do this timed, or you can do it, um, just watch, have the children put their pens down when they're through, then you know when they're all through. Because the essays are going to be different lengths, and so you don't know when they're going to be through. Once they're through, you say clock. They pass the paper one clockwise, they write number two on the back, which would, if you're looking for passive voice, write down passive voice, have them sign their name, and then tell them circle each passive voice verb. One thing I have adapted to this is when you're through with all your skills, I put a post-it note on everybody's desk. And the last clocking is you put the post-it note on the front of the paper and you write three good things about the paper. And that way they get positive feedback as well as the things they need to work on. Then you hand the paper back to the kid that wrote it. They, they get it back to the original owner. And they look at it and have an opportunity then to ask questions of, Whoever wrote the yellow, they turn over for number two. They can go ask that person, what did you mean by this? What did you mean by that? Then ultimately, they're the ones that are responsible for making the corrections. And that's how clocking works. Here are my three favorite things about clocking and why I believe it's the best method. They're only checking on one specific, identifiable, measurable task at a time. The second reason I like it is because it doesn't matter about the writing level of each student. A student who is struggling with their writing gets to see other people's writing. They may be struggling with the same things. They may can say, ooh, look, I could write a sentence like this. My third and very favorite thing is that when they're through and they're looking at these papers with each other, they are interacting. They're saying, I thought this was a passive voice. Well, it is. Well, why is it? They're talking about their very own writing and how to make it better. And they can go to their friends and say, well, is this kind of voice? No, it's not. They work together. It is so much fun to sit back and watch them take off and be excited about writing. That's why I like clocking as my very favorite method of peer editing.